Families finding relief from shelter orders continue to enjoy local parks and play areas, but in Dallas County, not enough people are apparently abiding by the practice of social distancing rules at area parks and trails. Now, there's a threat to close some of those sites. Our Aaron Jones with more now on the warning of stricter enforcement coming. The second Joyce e. Aber saw a crowded Katy Trail, she had second thoughts. I think it's going to be a better idea if you live because everybody's getting so close to each other and we have twins. We just had twins. Dallas County Judge Clay Jenkins stresses both the Katy Trail and White Rock Lake were way too crowded this weekend. People not staying six feet apart from each other. When you're out there being irresponsible, and, and it's, it's not everyone, it's a few, but and, and you know, it's like my uh, mama used to say, you know, a few of you have screwed up for the rest of us. Dallas Parks and Rec will now be putting barricades at many park and trail entrances and limiting vehicle traffic. There will be enforcement. We are deploying code enforcement, our park rangers, uh, our parking enforcement officers, as well as DPD and Dallas Marshals. They will be out in force uh, to make sure that we are that, that the citizens are complying. For now, all of Dallas's popular parks and trails will remain open, but that could change if people don't follow the rules. As far as the six foot social distancing rule goes, it's, I mean, it's kind of hard to maintain that 100% of the time when you're on the trail because, I mean, the trail's not wide enough when you're like having to pass somebody. If the city could control how many people could come or, you know, when, once people leave, some people can get in, I think it'd be better. In Dallas, Aaron Jones, CBS 11 News. County and city leaders stress they are. Uh, there are plenty of trails and parks to visit that are not as crowded. And we, of course, have a list for you on our website, cbsdfw.com. Just click on Aaron's story in local news.